Hey everybody, for today's smart idea, I wanted to go way back to the basics again for some of our newbies that we have out there. And one of the biggest questions that they have is, how do I really know if I'm insulin resistant? My doctor's never said it. My, you know, nothing on my labs has ever showed it. My glucose is fine. So how do I really know if I have it without running these crazy tests that I have to go figure out how to order myself? So two ways, there's really two ways. The first one for sure, on anybody who's over the age of 40, and now because we're also on met, so metabolically unhealthy, probably even starting at the age of 30, you're going to get a cholesterol panel done at least yearly at your yearly exam. And so if you take two numbers out of that cholesterol panel, your triglyceride and your HDL, which is not the one, if you notice on those labs, they actually do a total cholesterol to HDL ratio. That's not what I want. We want the triglyceride to HDL ratio, triglyceride divided by HDL. If that number is greater than 1.5, very likely you have insulin resistance. And the higher that number, the more severe your insulin resistance. If your number is between 1 and 1.5, you're kind of teetering in that, okay, maybe I need to be a little bit more um, present when it comes to my diet and my lifestyle. And if you're below 1, you're killing it. You're a rock star. And so that's the number one easy way to do it that you will most definitely have labs for unless you're a really healthy 20-year-old. Um, number two is a glucose and an insulin can be combined into what's called a HOMA IR score. This stands for the homeostatic model of insulin resistance. You can pull it up, Google the cal calculator, but you get a fasting insulin and a fasting glucose, throw it in the calculator, and it will give you the severity level of your insulin resistance. Less than one is normal, one to two is mild, two to three moderate, and three and above is severe. So those are usually pretty simple. Your doctor probably won't order an insulin. You might have to ask for it. Or if you go to some place like Own Your Labs, you can get it for, I think it's like $16. So it's really inexpensive to get. So those are two really simple ways, very inexpensive ways to not only one, tell you if you have it or not, but two, to give you a severity score on, on how hard you need to work at some of these efforts. And so... Yeah, it's kind of one of those topics that hopefully some of our newbies can um, go back and do some research and ask some questions in some of these meets. That's very good. We, we get questions about that. I've never heard that. I mean, all the years we've been doing this stuff, I've never heard that, Lindsay. I appreciate that. Hey, Jack, I had a new client uh, that that is going to join the Insulin IQ uh, community, and, and he read Ben's book, um, How We Get Sick, and his doctor wanted to push a statin on him. And he went back and said, hey, listen, I, I did what Ben told me. I, I divided my HDL by my triglycerides, and I'm really in a good space, so I'm not taking that statin. So way to go, Ben. Yeah. Teaching the well, truth. Yeah, and that's he has a study out that now doctors are using all the time to help keep their, their people off of statins. Triglyceride divided by HDL again. And if you're less than 1.5, even if your LDL is high, don't need a statin. Well, thanks, Lindsay. Any other last comments about it today? And remember, okay. we're not your doctor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're a bunch of knuckleheads with some good ideas. That's right. But <laughs> we're right. a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Lindsay. We'll talk to everybody next time. Have a great day.